This huge pile of snow right next to the Lakeland School District Administrative Building is a constant reminder of the large amount of money the district had to spend in the past month or so just to get all this snow off of its schools. With blue skies and the snow slowly melting away, Tom Taggart, business manager for the Lakeland School District, is finally getting a clear picture of how much the storm will cost the district, $100,000 and counting. Just two weeks ago, the district hired more than 100 people to shovel roofs and clear parking lots. Oh, it was just pretty crazy. With the, the initial storm was so much bigger than any storm we'd had to deal with. And Last winter, the county declared a state of emergency, making it possible for the district to be reimbursed for almost all of the snow removal costs. This year, however, that never happened, so the district has to pick up the entire bill. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it, it's part of that. Probably the first 30000 was our normal snow budget, and that went in a hurry, and then the rest is above that, and we've still got quite a bit of winter still to go. Taggart says they've used all of the district's emergency fund to make up the difference. The mounting snow removal costs only compound an already challenging year. Well, we're struggling. I mean, we've got a very tight budget anyway, and, and uh, are looking forward to some state cuts for next year so that extra hundred thousand really hurt. The district has already put a freeze on its supply, library and travel budgets and with the governor proposing a 75 million dollar cut to public education Taggart says the district may need to take extreme measures next school year. We're looking at things we haven't had to look at before in terms of personnel. Such as cutting back hours and benefits, a first in the eight years Taggart has worked for the district. Well, I think for all school districts, it's, it's the most serious financial situation we've seen in a long time. In North Idaho, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.